All right, so I'm not in front of the camera, but this is a quick sale that just took place. So I figured, let me just do this quick recording. So this is a scarfy thing, scarf. Um, it's a scarf ring. I tried to get into jewelry and um, <laughs> I bought this. I think I paid a dollar or 50 cents for this. I'm selling this sold for $5. I took a best offer. I think I had for $7.99 or $8.99. But I took a best offer for five dollars on it, and these books sold. I had them for like a few, a year and a half, or two years. That's when I first started and asked for a lot of books, and this came in a lot. No, actually, this came from a guy's house. I remember I posted on Free Cycle. That's when I was taking a lot of books in. I was into the, e I mean, FBA book business, and I was just scouring books wherever I could. But these are old books. Um, I took a best offer for these for $13. They were just sitting there for a while, so I'm like, let me just take the offer. Of course, it's gonna go media mail, so it'll cost me at least four dollars to ship it. He already paid for the shipping. So these are two items I sold lately. So it's a uh, jewelry. Gee, thanks a lot. Come on, participate. Participate with a brother. All right. So these are the items I sold so far. All right, continue with your journey. Peace. What's up everyone, Third Shift Millionaire here again. Listen, um, so I sold this remote. I took a best offer for $15. I believe, I think I overpriced it. I, I was selling for 30 because this is an old, old remote. Um, I got this at an estate sale that were like this guy and a lady, and lady, I should say they were married for a long time. And they lived in the house, I guess, from the 50s and on. And it's, I guess the 50s and 60s but they had a bunch of old stuff and they, i think this back in the 80s and stuff like that this remote it's a sherwood remote control unit so i took a best offer for 15 dollars on this um don't mind my voice i'm just waking up so also i have this box right i ordered a stapler from amazon a while ago and I wanted to ship this remote, so I'm like, you know what? Instead of using an eBay box, let me let me find something to ship it in. I was gonna ship it and still am shipping it. <laughs> I'm shipping it in a um, Amazon Prime um, envelope. This I, I ordered something from Amazon a while ago, and I always save these. Always save your Amazon thing you get, um, and when you're doing multiple items that you ship. Um, so I saved this box. I have the stapler. And actually the remote fits in there nicely. So I'm gonna put the remote in it. It might snug in a little bit here, but it's still gonna protect it. It's still under the one pound. So all this is going into this package together. I sold this for $15, so this is a sold item. So the whole point of this little recording is save your boxes, which I mentioned, save your item. Don't always throw boxes away when you're a reseller because you never know you, you may think oh I'm never gonna use this box it's too small but lo and behold it fits perfectly in here and it cushions it granted I could have put this controller in there by itself but I figure I always consider my customer I always consider your customer you know the item that you're sending them how would you like to receive it because when it when the once the item leaves your hand you know, it goes to the post office and somebody might be having a bad day, bad relationship, or they just hate their job or whatever it may be. And they might just toss it aside. You never know what people, we're people, we go through things, right? So consider that. Consider sometimes, yes, there are people who don't take care of your package and deliver it um, like it's their very own, but then there's people who don't care. I mean, think about the job you're in. Some days you don't want to be there and you're like sloppy on some stuff. So consider that when you're shipping, consider the moods of the employer or employee on that job, whether it be FedEx, USPS, um, or UPS, any career. When you're shipping your item, think about that. So this is why you take extra precaution when you're shipping your item, because you want to be safe on your side. You wanna have peace of mind when you're shipping an item to your customer, because you at least you know you did your very best you know to ensure that the package was um, packed properly in a decent way and got to your customer it's the best way of you know how but when it once once it leaves your hand it's out of your hands it's in the career's hand it's in the the 
transportation system but before it leaves your before it reaches that point it's right here in my hand so i have to do everything in my power to make sure it gets it granted i'm talking about remote but this goes for all items this goes for all your item that you're shipping consider your customer consider how you're going to give how you're going to package it all right that's all i really have to share for this episode again continue with your ebay hustle continue with your personal growth continue with everything you're doing um everything you're doing all right i'm gonna turn this off right now let's see if this works let's see if this works